This is a video from my upcoming course for achieving high quality character animation using just video mocap and Unreal 5.5. If you want to be notified when the course drops, join the Discord or subscribe to this channel as I'll post the announcement here and there and probably a couple more places. I'm seeing a lot of things online where people are having trouble reusing the retime controls and even some of the tutorials aren't able to get it to work properly. So I'm going to show you what I've learned and teach you how to retime like a pro in Unreal 5. So let's get into it. I have this parry animation that I made, which is obviously very God of War influenced, and it's going a little slow. So if you have a snappier game or you want to redu reduce that anticipation phase, so you have this where he, there it is, it's kind of like that's the squash, and then he hits. So if you want to fix that and we want to retime it, we're going to use the retime tool in the curve editor. So I'll go ahead and show you how that works. So we'll open up the curve editor, save my work first, and then, uh, so we'll go in and we'll select the whole rig. And now what we're going to do is we're going to find the anticipation phase, which I can pretty much predict. Like it doesn't start, it starts about here. And so we go to our retime tool and you'll notice I have snapping turned off. I swear by snapping, you should have snapping on at all times. That's what snaps the keys to all be aligned on frame boundaries. But I have it turned off for this because you have to. If you don't, I'll actually show you what happens when you don't have snapping turned on like you should. We'll just go select a random range. I'm just double clicking to create retime control bars. And I'm going to slide this in and then we'll go take a look at why that's not the best idea. All right. So I can see it immediately. If you notice at a single time instant, I've got two keys and what that causes, it may not happen here because this is going pretty fast, but you see how it still looks smooth in the viewport. When I slide, if I hit space bar, what you might see is jittering between those two frames so you could see popping you could see jump back you can see a lot of problems that go along with it so i'm going to control z because that was a terrible mistake but now if i turn off snapping and i grab that control bar and slide it if i actually grab it sometimes it doesn't register the grab there you go now what you'll see is all my keys remain nice and smooth everything how it is but now if you look there's frame 159 i now have a key right in the middle and this one isn't even aligned on it but that is fixable but you do that after you finish retiming. So let's go ahead and do our retiming. I'll talk a little bit about the tools. Sometimes when you open up the retime controls, you may have the full span. I typically, so it's important to understand how retiming actually works in Unreal. If I were to grab a section in the middle here and retime this part, if I drag this control bar to the left, it's actually going to retime this space, but it's also going to retime this space. It's going to speed this up in here and slow this down so it all matches up. But if I get rid of this and I slide this in, it's just going to shift these keys so it'll keep the timing on this section completely the same. Let's go ahead and set up our actual retime. So, okay, so here's the anticipation. So I want to time that independently of the actual swing. So let's go ahead and make the anticipation faster. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, so that's a much faster, a much faster anticipation. I may actually want that to go even faster. Let's just take it in a little bit more. And sometimes it takes these a little while to respond, but now let's take a look. Yeah, there it is. So that's a nice snappy. So if you're going for a much more arcadey feel or a much less uh, response time required to get that parry to launch. But now the parry itself looks really slow. So let's go ahead and add a retime bar for that. So we're going to swing. And if I want, see that nice little. Yeah, so I'm going to actually create another retime control there. And then right about there. And now we'll drag this in to make it a lot faster. Let's see how that looks. Yes. So now I have a nice natural, but he, and that, by the way, this overshoot and settle right here that I didn't speed up um, during the action itself, during wide arcs, things like that, you can speed those up pretty much with impunity, like a fair amount and have it still look natural. But if there's a place where he, the actor is coming to a rest, or they're doing the overshoot and settle or in a you know moving hold or something like that. You want to be very careful with the timing there because that's where you're going to get your uh, uh, unrealistic timing or that's where you're going to ruin the animation. First, let's just look. Okay, so now we have a much snappier. Yeah, that's a much better 
Perry. And so now I've got a bunch of keys are, that are not where they belong, right? I have keys that are just completely off frame. And so let's go fix that. So we go back to our um, selection control, control A, select everything, and right click, filter, and then we're going to bake on the ones. So I'll have to go ahead and open this up a little bit. So this is our curve editor filters. And if you select bake, hit apply, we now will have all of our keys where they belong. Now you notice it went into linear, which isn't what we want. So I'm going to go back to snapping, but let's go just first, let's go take a look. And sure enough, you see all of our frames are on those nice frame boundaries. So now again, I'm going to control A, hit zero to put them back into auto tangents. And let's go take a look and make sure everything stayed the way that we like it. And now I have a faster animation, smooth. All of my keys are on the ones where they belong. And I can retime without having to reduce keys or have to do anything fancy. It's just those three steps. You go in, you select your retime bar, do the retiming how you like it with snapping turned off as step one, retiming as step two, and then baking back on the ones is step three. And that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.